What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Earthbound. In the last part, we explored more of Threed, got out of uh, Threed, and made it to Sardom Valley. In this part, we're gonna um, talk to these people. We can groove. Hi, homie, Mr. Saturn. This place is our old Mr. Saturn. Go to this area right here. I just love these people's dialogues. I'm Mr. Saturn, Zoom, and I can repair your body. Boing, you want me to operate you on you, ding? Yes, and that basically acts as healing. It can also revive party members. So yeah, you have survived. Once upon a time, we were many, many, everybody slowly, our dress, our less, less, what, boing. These are very bizarre creatures. These are the Mist of Saturns. Hey, Rust Promoter. I want to see if there's something in here. Alright, trash can. Sudden Guts Pill. Awesome. The Protractor. Broken Spray Can. So we'll give that stuff to Jeff. Now, uh, I'm kind of gonna, I'm kind of gonna give you a little trick with this area I only really learned in the practice playthrough. So I've already explained that in order for Jeff to fix broken stuff his IQ needs to be a certain level. The way you do that is you go to hotels. However, this area in Saturn Valley acts like a hotel. And it's also a place you can call your dad to save your game. So yeah, basically um you know what you can do? Um, I only learned from the practice player. You can slumber. Yes. KO. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken iron after fixed it became the slime generator. So yeah, we got that, and uh, I will give a description of what the slime generator is. Slime generator. Iron for Jeff. Sprays a sticky substance that's softening me from moving. Can be used many times. So yeah, it's not an item I particularly use, but uh, we can keep going back to the hotel and get multiple broken stuff fixed. And that looks like all we can fix with the broken. Looks like we can't fix the broken air gun yet, the broken spray can, but uh, eventually we'll be able to. That's this is one of the uh, kind of cheat codes in terms of fixing broken stuff. This guy, we look like same. I give you special thing. No, no zoom. I give you on the way back. Doing bye later. Base secret. Base behind Great Root Falls, password I tell, select men say, say password, then send sail, wait for three minutes. It's tells what to do. Scary scary guy boing, Great Root Falls, scary, sick, barfy, go in, la la la, ding, sorry. God, I love these Mr. Saturns. I wish they were real. I'm basic. I'm a grown man, I'm wishing a, I'm wishing a video game character was real. So, going, do you have $380 for any secret or for... You have 780 draws which is for the heart of life. I don't think we got a horn of life. Okay, uh, if we can get our hands on the horn of life, I think we can, but uh, I'm not 100% certain. This is an ATM though. This we can basically take out our money. We're going to take out maybe $2,000. I think that's what we're going to need. How if we go here, um... Yeah, it looks like we can buy the Horn of Life up with $1,700. Um, I'll buy one, but, uh... Actually, I won't buy one just yet. The Horn of Life, basically, uh... Is a cup of life noodles, but it heals you fully. Very expensive item, but a very solid item. I only took $2,000 out of the bank so I can get more upgraded items. So uh, this is the weapons. Uh, you can get them out of a slingshot, but they have a high chance of missing, so we're not going to do that. They have the travel charm. They have the great charm, which is a solid item. Let's let's buy, let's get this for all three. We have to get it for Paula first. She, she changed from 33 to 34. The great charm. Um, Jeff. And we'll, uh, get the, uh, we have to sell some for us to get the Great Charm for Nessa. Sell. So we don't need a Refreshing Herb. I don't, we don't need the Sprit, we don't need the, uh, 
It's, we don't need the spray either. So yeah, we will uh we will buy the great charm for Ness. You know, if this game re get remade, I hope they fix the problems like they do in the, I hope they fix the uh slow it pacing it takes to buy the items. We can buy them one at a time. We see what breaks the red rubber we can give to Paula and uh it looks like Paula can't carry this. So we're gonna have to sell one of her items. Yeah, buying in this game can be pretty tedious. We're gonna get, we're gonna sell the refreshing herb. We're gonna buy the red ribbon and uh her defense chain from 4499. So uh yeah, so uh I'll basically describe the great charm. I can you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to unequip it so I can kind of describe what it does. The Great Charm. Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks, also it adds a bit of speed. So yeah, it's a very really solid item. It's like the Travel Charm, but better. Anyway, so, um, that's all we can really do, and, uh, Really, all we can do, and uh, what am I trying to say, Mr. Saturn Va Saturn Valley for now, because uh, we're gonna have to come back here later. But uh, we were given a hint on how to get through the falls. We might as well use that hint. Battle. System. We didn't get any 120 item, unfortunately. Maybe this time. These are such. If there's any enemy you should grind 120 items for, it's these ones because they give 600 every time. You can get a, you can get some really fast level ups. So now we're no okay. They didn't attack. They didn't first strike. Uh, let's show off fire beta. It costs 12, 12 pp to use, but uh, it's worth it. Maybe it's not worth it. It's uh, you'll kill one of these assholes though. Feels like freeze alpha will. And we got a sneak attack, yes! All is now level 21, so you went up by 1, Max is up by 2, Max is up by 1. Paul has the power of offense up, Alpha. Jeff's now level 20, offense went up by 1, defense went up by 2, speed up went up by 2, guts went up by 2, IQ went up by 1, luck went up by 2, Max is up by 1. You can avoid these guys, yes. And uh, once we go up here, Derek's going to show up. This was taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, we have to some memory. Look at the camera. Fuzzy? Wow, what a great photograph. I like how Paul and Jeff like do not give a shit about getting their picture taken. Because like they're sick of this gag as we are. Say the password. Now, we just have to sit there and wait for three minutes. Earthbound's legacy. You've seen up. You've seen twelve straight parts of this. This by now, and if like if this doesn't convince you to play the game, I don't know what can. But like, um, 
lots of people have compared Earthbound to various types of media. And if, like, if I had to compare Earthbound to anything, it would be the album Pinkerton by Weezer. Because uh, in the description of these videos, I called Earthbound the uh, Pinkerton of gaming. And I, I've kind of found a link between the two. Both came out, both Earthbound the game and Pinkerton the album came out around the same time. And uh, both were flops when they initially came out. And like, Rivers Cuomo does not perform any songs from Pinkerton live, even to this day. And he vocally resents the album. It's much like how Nintendo doesn't really, doesn't really appreciate the Mother series. Like, they have still not given, given Mother 3 a re release. And like, they've barely been talking about the one. They're very solid games. And like, well, I'd argue like Pinkerton. Some people might even argue like Pinkerton might even be like the last good Weezer album because like there's the Green album, yes, that kind of was their comeback. But like, um, I don't know. It's like um, it's Weezer is essentially like the Sonic the Hedgehog, where they have like a very hit or miss catalog. Like that's the piece of Earth, the piece of '90s media. I kind of compare the two too because they both came on the same time. Both have a similar story and both have similar creator backlash. Is uh. It's interesting to think about now that I pointed out. Yes, I fucking love Pinkerton. Like it's just, it's just, it wasn't necessarily a flop. It was essentially ahead of its time because one of the first emo albums. And you know, like um, a lot of emo bands in like the 2000s with size and influence. Like and, and it annoyed the shit out of Rivers Cuomo because like the failure of that album was like pretty much traumatic for him. But like. Yeah, I'm just talking about Weezer until this uh, three minutes go up. Like, uh, yeah, but then they have the Make Believe, Make Believe, which says the Beverly Hills single. I even remember that single. Oh, it's like kind of dog shit. They have Ratatouille. It's like bottom tier, but like they covered Africa by Toto. That was like, and they have like Van Weezer. Like, things like this capable of making good albums, but like a lot of the time they just don't even try. It's like that it's like a thing. Right, this is three minutes gonna be up, I think. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to Earthbound, um, there's not really any Nintendo franchise that's like the Mother Series. There's other Nintendo franchises that are RPGs, like none really have like the same kind of uniqueness because like this game has the pop culture references, it has the bizarre dialogue, it has the bizarre endings, it has the real world setting, and like um, I don't know. It's like this game can click. For apps, can, for if this game is clicked for people when I've described it in this detail, but like, um, when am I going to hit three minutes or up? But like, um, I don't know, it hasn't clicked for everyone. I'm hoping it can click for as many people that watch this. Uh, yeah, now I got that three minute rant. Anyway, these are the uh, she brings a fly, honey. It's my favorite. Okay, me pass through. Hey, be careful, Joe. Don't drop it. Now, these enemies, these are some new enemies. You want to grind? Fight these enemies repeatedly. These are the popping source. They have very weak attack, and uh, they're very much like the uh, enemies from uh, on it, the Onet Cave that dropped the bomb, trying to, the attack slugs. Like, uh, they're very much like, so they give a lot of XP. They're easy to kill. Out. Look, they just gave 1300 XP. That'd be pretty much a level up. Now, I want to see this. I want to see this something in here. The zombies. I think there are uh, nine new enemies. You call a caught a cold in this battle anyway. So Ness is now level 24. Oh baby, offense went by four. Speed went by one. Guts went by one. But went up by two. Luck went by two. Max HP went up by 28. Max HP went up by two. And we realize power healing beta. Yes. We're gonna use healing alpha to get rid of Paul's cold because I caught a cold during this battle. So yeah, if you want to grind these enemies, like, uh, if you want to grind repeatedly, like, um, hell, I'd even maybe recommend grinding in this area, like, uh, just fight these foppies repeatedly and just, uh, maybe get, get a few, get up a few levels, because the next area is, the area after this is the Sanctuary Boss, and it is going to be a pretty big step up in difficulty. Yeah, I'd maybe recommend gaining up a few levels. I might even do that, actually. Actually, are we close to a level up? I think we are. But, uh... Uh, at least Jeff is. Jeff's 74, I fear, from a level up. Uh, so yeah, this area where these people, where these appear the most frequent, look how we're gonna be swarmed by these. However, maybe, um... 
Maybe just use a, something like a PSI Mario. He gets to defend with the other two. Ends these battles quicker. Maybe don't use too much of your XP, but uh, yeah, if you get a lot of these, just end the battle quicker like that. Then you end the battle right away. Yeah, it takes a few turns for the concentrate, right? much like the uh, tax slugs. We're gonna fuck load XP from this. Paul's now level 22, offense went by 1, Max XP went by 3, Max XP went by 2, Jeff's now level 21, Vitality went by 1, IQ went up by 1, Max XP went by 11. So yeah, very good grind enemies. Look, we can even count some more. M might as well put up a PSI Fire Beta. Make Ness and Jeff attack though, just to finish them off and uh, yeah, just uh, do that. Poppy D was defeated, Poppy C was defeated, and uh, Poppy D was defeated. So yeah, we're getting a fuckload of XP from this. Not a level up though, but yeah. Very solid grinders. So look, Ness, is already Ness and Jeff are both already almost a level up. I think there's something in here, but uh... For shit. Jeff is now level 22. Offense went up by one. Max is up by one. I also kind of pulled in this battle. See if I have any refreshing herbs left. I think I do. No, I don't. So yeah, time for the PSI healing alpha. They're around the trash can, and there's an IQ capsule. Uh, just out of Jeff. He's out of items, so uh, we're going to have to make Jeff drop something. He doesn't need the picnic lunch, and I hate this. I'm not getting rid of the picnic lunch. Ah, uh, shit. I need all these items. I need the slime dinner at the least. And laser and uh, the IQ capsule. It's just we're just gonna use that on Jeff to increase his IQ. Wow, I used it on the wrong fucking person. Then Jeff, sorry Jeff, you don't get the IQ boost. Anyway, we should get more uh, fa fappies. Um, I want to get in a battle with another one of those so I can get a level up. Ness went up the Ness is now level 25, max HP up by 2, max HP up by 3. Still not satisfied though. I want to get Paul or Jeff up a level. I think these are new enemies. We're approaching new enemies. Hey, more fappies. Anyway, I just realized it's foppies. I apologize for mispronouncing them, but um that was also wrong, but um if I can uh Hey, I can instant kill them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I think there's something in here. There's a... Uh, yeah, I need this. I definitely need this. Does this respawn? Let me check. It respawns, yes. Yeah, you can blow your PP killing these enemies and just... kind of get them back up. Hey, new enemies. Well, these are not new enemies. Uh, we've, uh... Hey, wait a minute. These are new enemies. Um, Yeah, these are the uh, Slime Old Pies. And uh, we're just going to use uh, Fire Beta on the uh, back row. These are the... Um, what are they, these? these are the uh, mostly back row. They're like the ones in uh, 3, except they're stronger. I'm going to use Fire Beta, but... Uh... And kind of instant kill them. They, they will call for help and uh, make you do crying sass when it was like the one before. And it was defeated either way. And Paul's now level 23. Offense went up by one. Speed went up by one. IQ went up by one. Luck went up by one. Maxi speed went up by one. Max PP went up by two. No! No! 
Yeah. He's now level 23. Offense went up by one, speed went up by one. IQ went up by two. Max is being by three. Anyway, um, I want to get through that anyway. So I think we're at the boss. And I want to get to that. I want to get 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 that. Thank you. We got that. Absolutely. Uh, so you are now sexy hero hero. There's a prophecy of the boy who is a master guy. You see, you made me laugh so hard. I'm a master guy. You see, I'm on. You have to be worse than the greatest evil guy. I'll take you down big time. So get ready for the worst side of your life. Uh, get ready to feel the worst pain true knowledge, yeah. Come on, let's go. Why do I see Elvis by saying, by doing his voice? But anyway, so, uh, this is the jar of fly honey, so we're just using PSI Mario Beta, and I think jar, yeah, Paul has the jar of fly honey, so we're just gonna use that on him and, uh, kind of shoot him. And this is kind of what will, will slowly kill him. All felt somewhat nauseous. This is a new, this is a new condition that's slight poison. I think Healing Beetle can heal it, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll chance it. I um, think Healing Beta can cure it, but I'm not 100% sure. We're going to use the bomb on him. We'll just use the... Uh, I'll save the big ball rocket. And Healing Bandit does work on it. So yeah, he'll kind of like, um... Yeah, he'll kind of attack less frequently. Just use all your PSI attacks. He was defeated! Ness is now level 26. Offense went up by one. Gus went up by one. IQ went up by one. Luck went up by one. Max is people by two. Max is people up by five. Looks like it was an even fight, but the master guy just set the main main section of force. I see you assume the rest of you live in your own puke. Stuff is fancy. Burp. Anyways, now we're back in Santa Valley. Let's see what this guy says. I escaped. Zoom. Burp. Zip. Do it. Be. Yeah, this will kind of take us back. Um, you worn down or doing a burp, burp, singy pu. Anyway, so uh, this takes us back to. This takes us back to. Uh, takes us back to Saturn Valley. Go on hot spring. Wash up your body. That kind of acts as healing. Anyway, so um. All that's left is to explore a cave in uh, Saturn Valley. Save that off for the next part. So, uh, I'm gonna do one last thing and save it off for the next part. So, uh, we're gonna do the uh, healing trick where I just fix all the broken items. I think when I'm at the point, I can do that. Here's the night, I fix the broken three cans for the beginning of the fence spray, and I think we can do one more. I think we can fix the broken air gun now, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. So, uh, anyways, let's cut it off as part of Earthbound. So, uh, next time on Earthbound, uh, we're gonna go into that cave. I'll see you guys next time.